Hi there, welcome to Sienna. Today we're going to have a quick look at the Sienna Unite remote contribution system for the Sienna ND processing engine. Sienna Unite is designed to provide a lowest common denominator mechanism for anybody, anywhere, to contribute a camera to a production system using the Sienna ND processing engine. It uses a custom design mechanism to uplink video and audio from your browser into the Sienna ND processing engine where it appears as a discrete NDI video and audio stream with full resolution, super low latency and extreme reliability. As you can see in the diagram here on the right, Unite is designed to provide scalable uplink to enable you to assemble audiences or maybe panels for a TV show or any other situation where you might want to bring in lots of remote people into a central production of video. It's important to understand that Unite does not use the WebRTC system, which is employed by many other systems that attempt to do this type of thing. And that provides the differentiation for Unite. Because it doesn't use WebRTC, Unite avoids many of the pitfalls experienced by other systems. A direct client server connection avoids the need for stun servers, turn servers, WebRTC negotiation servers, and hole punching and also avoids the problems associated with WebRTC like random resolution switching and resource constraints on turn servers which can lead to other problems. Because Unite doesn't rely on hole punching through your NAT firewall, it'll connect every time with every contributor. You can depend on it to be available when you need it. Compatible with Chrome browsers on your desktop, also with Safari browsers on recent versions of macOS, Safari Mobile on recent versions of iOS, and Chrome on Windows, Chrome on Android, and also some versions of Edge on Windows. So you've got a great choice of client browser support. Unite's also very scalable. With sideways scaling of your ND processing engine, you can get up to hundreds of thousands of guests if you really need that many. And remember that with Unite, you can create systems where all of those guests or audience members can all hear each other, all with low latency. Everybody can cheer, everybody can laugh, Everybody can heckle a comedian or take part in the virtual live audience experience. Okay, let's take a look at the ND processing engine and see how you set up the Unite session. So the first thing we need to do is add a Unite module to your ND processing engine. And what we're gonna do here is choose the resolution we want. We're gonna go with 720p. We're gonna put a frame synchronizer to smooth everything out. And we're gonna go with a three megabit data rate. That's all we need to do. If we turn it on, we've now created a Unite session and your contributor can connect to that session using this URL here. So all you literally need to do is have the domain name and a port and that will allow your contributor con to connect. If you need to, you can also apply a password to restrict it and you've also got a QR code you can copy to put into an email in case they want to connect from a mobile device. Once we connect to the Unite session, we're presented with this screen we we'll click on this and then we can choose our audio and video device we want to use for our contribution. Then hit preview. Now you'll see that Unite is taking your webcam and your audio and it's showing it to you in the screen so you can confirm your frame properly. You can check your audio level and then when you're ready to go, you hit start broadcast. That's it. Unite is now uplinking the video from the webcam to your Sienna ND Processing Engine server. And if we take a look at the module now, we can click on the output, and confirm that it is now receiving that remote contribution, and this is now an NDI stream within your Sienna ND Processing Engine. You might want to create a return feed for your contributor. And to do that, we've got the Sienna Link web module. In this example, I'm just going to send the contributed video straight back to the contributor, which is not what you would typically do, but it's a good example to show you how it works. What we do is we have a different port for the return feed. We're going to pause the Unite to enter the return feed information. And then when we turn them both back on, and now when the contributor would have connected, they would get a different experience with the return feed as well as the uplink feed. And we'll start broadcasting again. This time we can see there's a return feed coming back to the contributor. 
It's not very useful for them to see themselves. What you'd be more likely to sending them back is a multi-viewer of other contributors or maybe a program feed from your vision mixer. But as you can see, you get a super low latency uplink, a super low latency return feed, and these are all available in your browser. If you need to mute the microphone or mute the camera, you can do that from the Unite interface. And if you need to mute the monitor, you can turn the sound down in case you don't want to hear it again. Using an iPad or an iPhone, you can also use Unite. And in the picture I'm showing on the right, I've got an iPad which is in portrait mode. And this will send a portrait resolution video to Unite. And within Unite, if you need to, you can control the rotation. And here's a quick picture of that in action. So we've seen Unite in a single model configuration. Let's take a look at what a larger configuration would look like. Here we've created a four-way green room type conference. So this is four Unite contributors and they're all being fed into a multi-viewer and we're also creating a mix minus for each with the intercom system. And then they have an IFB inserter to mix their own private return audio with the multi-viewer. This allows four people to take part in something a little bit like a Zoom type environment. The big difference is that you've now got discrete audio and discrete video for every contributor that you can use in your main production to create a television style presentation. Meanwhile, the four contributors can all see and hear each other and interact as they might do in a standard meeting. If you want to go large, this is an example of the same thing, but using a 16-way system where we have a 16-way multi-viewer, 16-way mix minus, and once again, we're building essentially a 16-way conference, but where every single contributor has got a discrete audio and video stream, full resolution, arriving into the Sienna ND processing engine, so you can do a proper vision mix production. Going back to the single Unite module, let's take a look at some of the more advanced features. So let's get rid of this standard Unite module, which is just used for simplicity. And we'll take a look at the Unite Pro module, which has got a few more options. Unite Pro has an echo cancellation feature. So let's set this up the same, 720p, 25 frames per second. This time we can enable echo suppression. The echo cancellation features of Unite will allow you to eliminate that annoying local echo when people aren't wearing headphones and they don't have local echo suppression. So here we've set up the Unite Pro module and we've enabled the intercom option and we've also turned on echo suppression. Now if we look at the experience for the user, we can see there's a couple of new things. So on the left here we can see the megaphone. That basically means that your microphone is currently being suppressed. And in this case, it's because we're feeding in the audio that's the return audio for this user back into the Unite Pro module. And when somebody is talking on the return feed, it will suppress the microphone of the contributor so that you don't get echo through their microphone. And if we watch this little megaphone icon here, it's on most of the time, but when somebody takes a pause and breath, it'll go off and then our contributor can get their audio through. If like now the other person is talking constantly and you can't get through, you can actually override it and hit the megaphone button that will turn off echo suppression and allow your voice to get through. The other thing we've got as well now is the intercom button here. What you can do there is if as the contributor, you'd like to talk to the director, but without having your comments go to air, you can hit the intercom button. And what will happen is on the Unite Pro module here, your audio and your video, instead of coming out of the regular AV output, will start to come out of the intercom output instead. So you just hit the intercom button. You can talk privately to the director on the intercom channel. And when you release it, you're back on the main AV. Similarly, as we showed earlier with the Sienlink Web Return module, You've got the IFB inserter and then a CNLink web module. This is the normal configuration for feeding a return speaker. And in the IFB inserter module, you can also in insert an intercom feed which will go into the ear of your contributor. So once again, your director can talk to them and using the intercom button here, 
your contributor can talk back to the director. So we've got complete two-way comms in addition to the contribution and return feed. Another thing we can do with the Unite Pro module is we can request the user to enter metadata as they join the contribution. So we choose that option in Unite and now when the user joins they'll be asked for their information. So here we can enter this contributor is going to be Joanna Corrigan and the company. When they're contributing we're actually receiving some metadata into the Unite Pro module. You can see at the bottom here Joanna's names appeared as a primary tag and the secondary tag is the company name. And these metadata items are actually emitted through the NDI stream as well. And we can pick them up in something like the Sienna multi-viewer. So here we choose the uh, net metadata tag we're interested in. And then when we look at the output of the multi-viewer, we can see that Joanna's name is presented underneath the multi-viewer cell. This metadata can also be pushed out to other systems like CGs and titling systems, so you can produce professional lower thirds for your main vision mixer production. Well, I hope this was informative. If you need to know any more about Sienna Unite, please contact your local approved Sienna NDI systems integrator, and you can find details of those at sienna.tv. Thanks for watching.